What's good YouTube, it's Money Mail coming at you on another video and in today's video, we'll be going over my official review on Yeet's latest EP, Life, alright? So let's get into it. So it is Monday today, Life dropped on Friday, so it's been a couple of days though. We had the weekend to play over the whole album, it's been three days since Life dropped and I feel like we can give an official review of my opinion on the album. You guys know how I do it, every Monday we drop the Life review video or the review for whatever album dropped this Friday. As I said, I don't really like to review albums off the rip straight. You finish the album and you give a review. I don't really like doing that. As I say in my, all of my reviews, I like to just let the album marinate, let it sit, soak it up, keep playing the album over and over again. And then you can give like a really official and thought out, just good review. So that's what we're doing today, all right? So Life Dropped on Friday, as I said, I listened to the album a couple of times and I've had some final thoughts on the album, right? So for one, I think this is this isn't Yeet's best work at all. Personally, I think the second half of the album was very just it was just there was nothing crazy for me in my opinion that the second half of the album brought like after really track 7 because Talk already released, there wasn't really any songs that there wasn't really any songs that impressed me that much. They all just sounded like basic Yeet songs. And I know this is an EP, this is not an album, and Yeet's not trying to, you know, make blow the fans' minds with this one and give them something crazy. I know it's an EP, but I don't know, this just, it, it just sounded like every other Yeet song, it was nothing crazy. There was really no Yeet progression with the second half of the album, of course. The first half was very good. I really liked the first half of the album. Personally, Flawless, I think Yeet should have had like a proper verse or a, like more Yeet on the song, because in my opinion, Flawless is more like a Uzi track featuring Yeet, to be honest. And uh, Out The Way, this is my favorite track on the album, Out The Way. I'm swerving that man, it's ooh. That song is so crazy. I like Up Off X too. Just got a word from Thug. The beat on Up Off X is so crazy. Flawless, the intro to Flawless is so amazing. That intro, when it, then when it just dropped, that's crazy. What it feel like is cool, the leak song. And then... Uh, can't stop it. It sounded like some type of Batman track like some track you would see Batman riding off into the Sun or something It was crazy personally. I think Yeet's vocals didn't really deliver on this song But the beat was amazing the beat was so crazy But I just feel like Yeet didn't really fit the song that much and he could have done better in my opinion I'm not trying to hate on Yeet or hate on this album at all But this is just my opinion at the end of the day and then like yeah after after the second half of the album There was nothing really that impressed me I know it's just an EP at the end of the day and Yeet wasn't trying to you know blow our minds with something crazy but um, as you guys can see here we can go down I like nine songs off 12 songs EP so basically I like 75% of the album but uh, um, it was a cool EP personally I'd rate life just like a seven it was a seven in my opinion nothing too crazy from Yeet and then like I feel like I didn't enjoy this album as much was because like We've heard these snippets for so long, like like Flawless, most of us already heard and been heard Flawless, right? The only new thing was Uzi's verse. Out the way, basically we've heard the whole song. What it feel like we already heard, well, got it all, we already heard. Uh, Crank, I believe as well. Like there's a lot of snippets that we heard on this album and I felt like I heard the snippets too much. Kind of like the same situation when Uzi dropped um, Lil Uzi vs. The World um, after he dropped um, it, Eternal Take. You remember how like all the fans were complaining? Oh, it doesn't sound the same. That's the kind of boat I'm in right now. And I know the only person to blame is myself because I played out the snippets too much. And like, like once you play out a snippet too much, I feel like the song when it releases, it doesn't really hit the same. I feel like if Yeet dropped never previewed any snippets and he just dropped this i would have been like oh my god this this ep was so crazy but i feel like i oversaturated the snippets is why i'm feeling like this upon this ep so i'm um, yeah i'm gonna give life a seven it was cool he i feel like he delivered on this ep it wasn't nothing too crazy i said as i said just something to hold the fans over and they gave us 12 songs i like nine of it so 75 percent of the album I did enjoy my favorite song as I said was out the way this is my favorite song this song was so crazy and I know we heard the snippet but just this song was just overall good song the leak song was cool as well and then the can't stop it the alternative rock type of track 
It was cool, as I said, but I feel like Yeet didn't really deliver on the vocal side. I feel like Benny X did his thing on the beat, but I feel like Yeet could have done better on it. And then like the second half of the album, I don't really, I don't really know. I don't really have any thoughts on this. It's just nothing too crazy for me. Nothing really impressed me on the second half of the album, but yeah, it's gonna be my official review on Yeet's life, right? I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10 with my favorite song being out the way. I like nine out of the 12 songs, so 75% of the album I did enjoy, but yeah, it was just a cool little EP from Yeet, nothing too crazy. He delivered what the fans wanted, give them the snippets, and it was just a cool little EP, all right? So if you guys liked the video, like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's Money May, RZ, and I'm out. Thank you guys.